I'm an atmospheric chemist and my research focuses on the chemistry of the marine boundary layer, which is the um, lower atmosphere, the lower kilometre or so of the atmosphere above the ocean. Um, and the re this relatively clean part of the atmosphere plays an important role in many aspects of atmospheric chemistry, one of which is as a sink of surface ozone. And um, ozone at high concentrations is, has adverse effects on our health, um, and yet it's been growing in the atmosphere over the last hundred years or so due to human emissions of things like nitrogen oxides and, and, and uh, hydrocarbons. One of the high points of my career has been um, discovering that natural emissions from the ocean in the form of halogen containing molecules actually increase the rate at which ozone is destroyed over the oceans. And this has caused us to rethink the sources and sinks of ozone. Um, this discovery was made um, by a whole team of researchers working um, out in the field and observatory at the Cape Verde Islands in the tropical Atlantic that we, that we run here from York. So I find it very exciting to be involved in this type of research um, and it also offers some fantastic examples for teaching. So we have an atmospheric chemistry module here in year three and we can use examples from our own research to both to illustrate fundamental principles of the way the atmosphere works as well as cutting edge research.